whole day that it was lost was described by many people as uh, putting a hole in our heart. Uh, and we needed to replace it as quickly and as expeditiously as we could. project is, is unique, but it's for me an ability to work with a client for whom I have an enormous respect, there's a give and take there, and the opportunity to work with other architects. They began to look at why were these structures so vulnerable? What can we do better in the future? We knew that the current codes would not be sufficient, so we had to basically design a building to satisfy a future code that hasn't been written yet. So we had to collect a lot of the reports that were available at that time and basically use our judgment. We always thought this building should be about simplicity and geometry. Clean, strong, monumental as possible. And that meant making it look as simple as possible. Although the building is far, far from a simple. The height of the building in profile to the top of the parapet is exactly the height of the original Trade Center. So there was some remembrance that we wanted to infuse the building with. Then of course there's the geometry of tilting those walls in and the cleanliness of it and the base and how to make all that work together. So it was really quite a lot of things coming together. And then of course the last item is the life safety issues. One thing we could do, and we actually were proponent of it, it would be better to have a robust concrete core. So the concrete core adds stiffness to a very slender building like this, but more importantly, it houses all of the safety and security services. For the first time in the city, we introduced a 14,000 PSI concretely. It's much stronger than any rock that you could find. Office building, because of the large spans that they want to have, it lent itself to a steel structure. So now combining a concrete core with a steel structure is not an easy task.